वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन नोडल एनालिसिस सी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सॉल्व वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन नोडल एनालिसिस हियर आई बी इंक्रीजिंग लिटल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन इजीली अप्लाई नोडल एनालिसिस टू सॉल्व कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट राइट so here you see we have been given with one circuit and in this circuit see here we have node a at which voltage is va at this node voltage is vb and at this node voltage is vc and that is what we are dealing with to calculate by using nodal analysis now before we apply nodal analysis we should be considering value of current and to consider value of current you don't have any restriction but when you apply kirchhoff current law at a time as per the direction you should consider polarity so here randomly i am considering currents so let us say here we have current i1 here we have current i2 here we have current i3 here we have current i4 here i am considering current i5 here i am considering current i6 here i am considering current i7 and you see i2 that is coming here so in this direction only i need to consider current i8 so that is how we have considered direction of currents now let us apply nodal analysis at terminal a so here i'll be considering kirchhoff current law at terminal a so when you apply kcl at node a we need to see entering current is equals to leaving current so you can observe entering current is i1 and leaving current is i2 i3 and i4 so i can say i1 is equals to i2 plus i3 plus i4 now let us substitute the value of i1 i2 i3 and i4 so you see i1 that is there in the direction of current source so i1 is equals to minus 8 ampere so i need to say i1 is equals to minus 8 and that is equals to i2 so you see i2 is there in this direction so i2 is potential difference across this link divided by 4 ohm so that will be va minus vc divided by 4 plus you see i3 so i3 is there in opposite direction of this current source right so i3 is equals to minus of this current source so current source is minus 3 into minus that will be i3 so that will be plus 3 so i need to write i3 is equals to plus 3 here plus now you see i4 that is potential difference across this link divided by this resistance and direction is this so we can say va minus vb divided by 3 that is i4 so now we have this equation we need to simplify this so here i can take lcm that is 12 and before that just take this 3 over other side so i can say this is minus 11 that is equals to va minus vc divided by 4 plus va minus vb divided by 3 and if you take lcm here so 12 is my lcm so i can say 12 into 11 so that is minus 132 and that is equals to now 4 is here so i need to multiply 3 into va minus vc and here 3 is there so i need to multiply 4 here va minus vb so let us simplify this further so this will be minus 132 that is equals to now you see 3 va and 4 va so 7 va and minus 4 vb and minus 3 vc that is how it is there so let us say this is equation 1 now i'll apply kcl at node b so let us apply kcl at node b so you see at node b entering current that is i3 and i4 and leaving current that is i5 and i6 so i can say i3 plus i4 is equals to i5 plus i6 now let us substitute values of i3 i4 i5 and i6 so you see i3 that is there in opposite direction to this current source so i can say 
i3 is equals to minus of this value and minus of minus 3 that is plus 3 so i see i3 is equals to plus 3 plus i4 now you see i4 that is va minus vb divided by 3 as per this direction and that is equals to i5 so i5 is vb minus ground here we have ground so vb minus 0 divided by 1 so i need to say i5 is equals to vb plus i6 that is a voltage drop across this link that is vb minus vc divided by this resistance so that will be vb minus vc divided by 7 that is equals to i6 now what i'll do is i'll be taking this term over other side so 3 is equals to minus of va minus vb by 3 plus vb plus vb minus vc by 7 now let us take lcm so here you see 3 and 7 so 21 that will be our lcm so 21 into 3 so that is 63 and that is equals to 3 is already here so i need to multiply 7 so minus 7 into va minus vb now 21 into vb that i need to do and here 7 is there so plus 3 into vb minus vc that i need to do now let us simplify this further so if you simplify this 63 that is equals to now va term so that is having minus 7 coefficient so i need to write minus 7 va then vb is having minus 7 into minus so that is plus 7 plus 21 so 28 plus 3 so that is 31 so plus 31 vb and vc is having minus 3 coefficient so this is our equation 2 similarly we will apply kcl at node c so at node c you see entering current is i6 and this i2 right and leaving current is i7 and i8 so i can say i2 plus i6 is equals to i7 plus i8 now let us place the value of i2 i6 i7 and i8 so i2 that is happening in this direction so i can say that is va minus vc divided by 4 i6 that is there in this direction so i can say that is vb minus vc divided by 7 that is equals to i7 so i7 is happening in this direction this current source is there in this direction that is minus 25 so i7 is equals to minus 25 plus i8 so i8 is happening in this direction and that is vc minus ground so ground is 0 so vc divided by 5 that is i8 so now to simplify this equation i am just taking vc by 5 or other side so that will be minus vc by 5 now to simplify this equation all we will be doing is we will be considering lcm so you see we have 4 into 7 into 5 so 4 into 5 that is 20 into 7 140 that will be our lcm and if you take 140 lcm then here we have 4 so i need to have 35 lcm here into va minus vc now here already 7 is there so 20 that will get multiplied here so 20 into vb minus vc and here we have 5 so i have 4 into 7 that is 28 so minus 28 vc and that is equals to here we have 25 into 140 so that will be minus 3 5 double zero now let us simplify this equation further so this is now you see va is having 35 vb is having 20 so plus 20 vb and vc is having minus 35 minus 20 minus 28 so you see that will be minus 83 and that is equals to minus 3 5 double zero so let us say this is equation 3 so now you can observe we have three equations this is one equation this is second equation and this is third equation so let me rewrite this three equation together to solve this question further so now we have these three equations 
so let us identify the value of delta so delta value that will be based on this coefficients so that is 7 minus 7 35 then minus 4 31 20 then this is minus 3 minus 3 minus 83 and if you solve these values of this matrix then you will be getting that is minus triple one seven two you just solve this in calculator you will be getting this only i have solved it and i am directly writing it right now let us find the value of delta one so delta one in that all we need to do is we need to place this elements in first column so minus 132 63 and minus 3 5 double 0 and this elements that will be as it is so minus 4 31 20 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 83 and if you solve this you will be observing this is minus 6 0 4 8 0 and when you calculate value of delta 2 so in delta 2 this elements that will come in middle column so minus 132 63 and minus 3500 first column that is this and last column will be this so that will be 7 minus 7 35 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 83 and if you solve this then you will be getting this delta 2 value that has to be minus 86 four three six and if you want to solve the value of delta three then delta three is having this element in third column so i need to write minus 132 63 and minus three five double zero here and this elements that will be as it is so seven minus seven thirty five minus four thirty one and twenty and if you solve this value of delta 3 then you will be getting that is minus 517440 so now we have the value of delta delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 so i can have voltage v1 v2 v3 and here you see v1 is va vb and vc so i need to say va is delta 1 by delta so delta 1 that is minus 60480 divided by minus triple 1 7 2 and if you solve this then you will be getting this is 5.41 voltage if you have vb so that has to be delta 2 by delta delta 2 is minus 86436 divided by delta so that is minus triple one seven two so this will be seven point seven three voltage and if you solve vc so that has to be delta three by delta and delta three is minus pi one seven double four zero divided by delta that is minus triple one seven two and if you solve this you will be getting this is four six point three one voltage so this is how values of a b c that we can identify by having nodal analysis i hope you have understood this question little complexity is there in terms of calculation but by practice you can have this exit answer so i want you to do practice along with me i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video